Hi friends, welcome to testing today last point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about our API automation using low cost. How we can able to do some API automation using low cost means in the API automation we have a methods called get post eight and put and patch methods. Most of the time we are using for these five methods correct how we can able to achieve our low cost to do this operation one by one okay and also we have some methods we can able to use basic path and path token the two methods we have presented how we can able to provide these two things into our application okay this we are going to discussing and this particular uh, series first our target is get method how we can able to achieve using our low cost method see for that we need to create one class first i am going to use a get method Right. and for this we need to import for till the date we are used for most of the time for user class now we are going to use for http user now okay. and using for task is common and between is common here only most of the time we use for user because we are not using any http request that's why we are not used HTTP user now we are initiating to requesting for any HTTP request user class to define it. now class and here I am going to use for my user and here I am going to use for HTTP user now wait this is one comma a two and here we can able to use host host is the one to define that before the starting of the url that you can able to see here this is the starting of the url we can able to define this starting of the url by using host and even we can able to uh, pass this host into terminal itself in the command line what how we run for handless mode right that format also we can able to provide for this host okay after that we can able to define for task to execute our get underscore method self and now here we are using for self dot client dot get method and get method it will take as a self url parameter data headaches and cookies and auth tokens and all it will take it okay now here i am going to use so without auth token i am going to passing for minus another value here i will pass this is one method now first i will run for my terminal using my terminal in this terminal i am going to use for get method okay now i'm using for one user and 60 seconds now once it is run we'll uh, go and see into our request please be able to use local state 
it is now started we will start an EU word so oh, it is started in handless mode all the values and we are not able to see properly uh, okay so now here the summary also you can able to see there is a type get method and name it is presented for URL which we are provided this name correct to see that it's like uh, ugly and means so not the properly formatted right we can able to use comma name we can able to provide any kind of name get method okay now you can able to open the terminal now start and it will execute for handless mode we will see in this detail report place the name need to be changed to get method it will execute keep on it will execute and we will stop here now we can able to see that there is a name it is get method how much ratio <coughs> these all the things we can able to find it the name we can able to change here what kind of method we means what kind of uh, operation we are doing we can able to provide those names also here <laughs> the name it will change to giving this complete url to there we can able to provide the short name which is required for particular the method operation but still we have a question whether we are doing validating the proper way or not because we are not verifying any a response validation correct we are just we are hitting for this to verifying that properly or like hitting to that particular get method to that particular url we are not validating any response how we can able to validate for response this we will learn about next video session okay thank you for watching Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Don't forget to share your friends and colleagues. Thank you.